Hello everyone. Welcome to the Learning Express YouTube channel. Friends, today I am going to discuss important points related to the interview preparation for MTech at IIT Kharagpur under the Department of Electrical Engineering. As I got many requests over the LinkedIn that people are called for interview at Electrical Department from IIT Kharagpur. So this data that I am going to provide here is compiled on the basis of some interviews that I faced at different IITs and curriculum work which I have done here at IIT Kharagpur. So I have somehow better idea about the courses and the professors here at IIT in this department. So on the basis of that, this data is collected. So now let's start with this uh, presentation. I have designed this presentation for you people and it is organized as such. So I have simply given the content where the introduction and second is the common points. So common points are going to be elaborated properly. And after the subject knowledge and then resources I provided for your preparation. So you can mark it as a five star because this is the most basic question that is going to be asked everywhere. Wherever I face the interview uh, for MTech. So in that case, introduce yourself is a very basic question. So we have to keep some points in mind. Please don't elaborate it much. The first one that I have uh, mentioned here, the don't elaborate it much. Try to give only the precise or concise uh, things there. Like you can keep aware about yourself and somehow whatever the residence address may be. No need of that also. And after that, you can provide whatever the degree you have completed in your BTEC and college name. And after that, you can list down few subjects. Like uh, here I mentioned like this analog basic subjects and some certifications. If you have done and you feel these are relevant to the uh, particular thing that you are going to appear for the interview. Here, if you are going to appear for the interview in electrical department, uh, suppose you are uh, called in IIE uh, specialization. Then you can expect uh, some uh, good analog courses you can mention there or some certifications from NPDL. In my case, I have done a few digital certifications like CMOS digital VLSI design, analog IC design. So such subjects, uh, simply you can state uh, forward, you can say in between of the lines, no need to mention separately. So these are some things that are going to be taken care of. And second thing is your, um, uh, yeah, if you have few relevant points related to your project, you can mention them. I have elaborated this point of project later on in the coming slides. But if you want to introduce a little bit about the projects, then it is fine in case of introduce yourself. And the last point that I have mentioned here, don't go into much details of any of the points mentioned above unless it is emphasized from that side. So if they are asking or they're interested in something, they will throw that question further, but please don't stick much on elaborating anything in introduce yourself part. So basic thing is there that just tell about yourself, whatever the uh, uh, degree you have completed, may say if you have BTEC electronics or BTEC electrical, whatever you can mention your college name. And this was the curriculum work, the major subject you can mention there, which are going to uh, support uh, the role which are going to take here at IIT Kharagpur in this branch. And you can list down some of the projects which are relevant. So no need to elaborate after that. So now next thing is some common points. So this thing is important in this common point section. I have written for all three branches, electrical, electronics and instrumentation. So this again, yeah, this, I have mentioned it very clearly. The BTEC project is very important. Because always they are, they are interested in this question of the BTEC project. So this, uh, under this BTEC project, I have mentioned a few points. You have to be careful of that. First, your contribution to the project. What was your contribution? And if they are interested or if they are not interrupting you, then you can speak about it for seven to 10 minutes. Depending on the situation, you can speak about it. So for that, you must have the ideas of what the major work you did, did and how your work is going to be utilized uh, in, uh, can say, uh, society or what is the practical use of that. 
and what is the learning outcome so learning outcome is also important and uh, also you can mention uh, like whatever the software you used or tools or technology whatever you used you can mention here for example if you use the verilog if you use the cadence virtue so for verilog you can use the xilinx vivado and if you have done the projects on fpga you can uh, mention or clear, clearly elaborate here so this point is common for all three branches the same thing i have written for all three branches so whatever the projects you have done and you feel it uh, it is a good whatever the points so please prepare the uh, your project very well over this uh, three four things that i mentioned your contribution learning outcomes and uh, tools and technology whatever you use you can mention there now the next thing is oh now come to the your basic subjects so again in this common points i have mentioned th these things are for all three branches students of all three branches so your btech subjects so this is very important thing so i have listed down some common subjects which are important for all three uh, students of all three branches network theory in network theory you can uh, see that it is a very important uh, the all the analysis like basic theorems ac analysis mean transient analysis filter rc circuit rls circuits so this is very important so you should very uh, very uh, uh, clear with the concept of uh, these uh, points whatever i mentioned should be very clear and second thing is a uh, second point that i mentioned is your subject is signal system so in signal system you have to be clear with the basics of signals basics of systems rms and average values laplace transform maybe sometime fourier transforms and energy signal power signal so this comes under this basic of signals and after the control system it is very important so in this department you can expect questions from control system like root locus bode plot nyquist plot nyquist plot phase margin gain margin these all comes under the stability analysis so so you should do this thing very carefully the stability analysis in control system so you need to be careful of all these points various plots and phase margin and gain margin and after that this is the most important thing and i have written a must analog electronics because in electrical department um, majorly the specialization like uh, instrumentation and integrated electronics means iie they are focusing much toward the analog electronics as we people are currently doing with their cur curriculum work so i can say the analog is going to play a wider role here so please be uh, very clear with the concepts of bjt opm mosfet so for opm you can prepare the basics and the bjt should be fully analyzed so i have listed down this thing and uh, in opm you can uh, see the circuit precision rectifier circuit may be there integrator may be there uh, differentiator may be there and for mosfet it is important in mosfet the characteristics means uh, id versus vds id versus vgs and uh, with uh, various effects like channel length modulation and uh, body effect and uh, yeah, you should be clear with all the amplifier topologies common source amplifier drain amplifier uh, common gate amplifiers and what uh, how to do the intuitive analysis for calculation of uh, voltage gain for the calculation of input and output impedances so you must have the clear with the structures uh, so this is under the mosfet it's very important overall i can say the analog electronics is very important you should prepare it with your notes and you should uh, complete all the basics uh, of uh, whatever three important devices are there bjt are somehow less but you can expect yeah one thing that i forgot to mention here diode in diode you can expect good questions from the uh, different uh, types of modeling of diode ideal diode suppose this is your cut in voltage this type of modeling so you can expect some good questions from diode also because i have faced many questions in diode also in uh, uh, many interviews so you can expect some good questions from a diode so in diode you have to be focused over this uh, use of diode in circuits like use in voltage regulator circuit means gen diode normal diode circuits so you should focus on the analog part not on the edc part here now come to the next so in next i have mentioned here power electronics so power electronics is mainly for this um, wd department the student of wd department have to be very clear with the power electronic subject so and after that the digital electronics so digital electronics is like a basic subject so you have to be clear with yeah, num in number system ones and twos complement is important thing 
and after that all combination circuits you should be clear with that uh, like uh, different type of uh, mux circuits you can design different circuits from the multiplexer so you should be clear with that uh, you can design your xor and uh, xor or xnor using uh, some nand gates or nor gates so you should be clear with that and basics of sequential circuits is also very important the so basics of sequential circuits and after that in third point i mentioned uh, here the edc subjects this subject is mainly for the ec so people who are from the ec background are going to surely ask from this edc subject which is like the basic semiconductor physics is important thing in basic semiconductor physics they can ask the question from the carrier uh, charge flow or equation of continuity and uh, many other things mobility versus electric field relation uh, and drift velocity versus mobility relation and many relations are there so many curves are there so you to be you have to be very careful with the different curves and plots curves and plots and in most working yeah you in most working you should be clear with the depletion region channel formation how this channel is affected how this vth is going to be very what is the oxide charge trapping how this oxide charge trapping affect your vth how the body effect is going to affect your vth so these are few basic questions that you can expect from uh, mosfet and yeah second thing is moscap so moscap is also important you can uh, expect uh, this uh, at least this plot of moscap uh, a capacitor with the uh, vgs so this is your vth so you can expect such questions from this and then uh, diode junction yeah diode junction means you can expect like suppose charge density function is given so maximum electric field plot of maximum electric field potential plot so these are few basic things that you can expect from diode junction and after that if i especially mention for the iia uh, branch then the basics of analog is very important and basics of analog that i discussed already in previous slides and for that you can follow the resources at bazad razavi youtube lectures so he is the professor in us so he is very famous his books are also famous so you can follow his video lectures uh, from lecture 1 to 40 razavi 1 you can follow this razavi 1 so here two playlists one especially for basics and razavi 2 for some higher designing purpose so it is not important for you it is not important for you but rajavi one first 40 lectures you can revise or your gate notes that is enough for the analog if you are able to revise these 40 lectures then is fine otherwise these gate notes are enough then basics of instrumentation yeah if i talk about the iii branch here because the instrumentation is uh, also important here for this branch so you must have the basic knowledge of the things like a measurement subject basics definition of simple terms like resolution and sensitivity you must be clear with that and uh, yeah you must be clear with this such differences like uh, sensors versus transducers what is transducer what is sensors how they differ to each other and what is actuator so you must be clear with these basic questions you can google it uh, that what are the basic questions for the instrumentation engineering that can be asked in interview so the important of signal conditioning So, what is the signal conditioning circuit? Uh, what is your uh, use of this sensors in your daily life? And uh, you can also search some uh, popular devices like accelerometer is important, gyrometer, accelerometer, magnetometer. So there are many important instrumentation devices. So you can Google the instrumentation devices, and no need to get into depth. Just uh, look at the working principle. so instrumentation basic devices instrumentation devices and uh, so these are some uh, a few points that i have mentioned for instrumentation especially and this is so resources are simply internet google it you will get the things and so now at the end i can say that simply prepare all the basic concepts and uh, uh, stick with your basics revise all the subjects whatever you completed in your gate and after that if you are especially focused toward the branch like iii then you have to be keep this these points in your mind then just revise the basic concepts of instrumentation because the instrumentation is going to be asked for sure there are few professors in department who are going to take interest in instrumentation and other professor maybe in the, in your basics or analog is going to be interested here 
So analog and instrumentation is going to be highlighted. And apart from that, your basics are important. And uh, so these are common points related to the subject knowledge of your B-Tech that you have done in, in the, during the gate also. So these are some important subjects. These are a few points that I tried to list down here. And uh, okay, so B-Tech project is, again, I will say that you have to be well prepared with it and uh, introduce yourself. This section is also very important. So at the end, I can say this is enough for this particular session. So I think it might help you. Thank you.